What's going on everybody? This is Professor Crypto Banana. Today's video, very special. I'm doing a collaboration video with DeFi Daily. See, I love talking about uh, DeFi 2.0, especially the Daniele projects. We talk about the spell, the ice, the mim, etc. I do not know how that integrates well with the Luna side. So DeFi Daily, he's got some information. He's like, yo, we can uh, do a quick video. I want to pop this information out. So I was like, all right, I got you. Let's do this. But before we get started, I got to let you know, hey, I'm not a financial advisor, neither is DeFi Daily. So anything that is said in this video or even shown in this video is not financial advice. So please, please, please always do your own research uh, it's just for education and entertainment purposes only. And keep in mind, a lot that we discuss can be risky. So keep that in mind as well. And we're not experts, so double, double, double check the work, even triple check. Some of it could be inaccurate, but we're just going to discuss what we know. So ha, let's get to it. And if you want to see some more videos from DeFi Daily, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So definitely check out his stuff. Obviously, he talks more about DeFi, ah, and then also how Luna integrates with Abracadabra Money and, and that aspect of DeFi 2.0, because I'm not that well versed in it yet. Hey, I'm going to learn, learn as much as I can going forward. But uh, if you want to see like some more resources than the time that he put in, check out some of his videos as well. Just to give you a little view, say hello DeFi. Hey, hello guys. Thank you very much for inviting me to this collaboration, Prof. I'm very, very happy to be here. And uh, yeah, I'm I gotta say, I'm a fan of your diagram, so if you can pull up that diagram where you speak the DeFi 2.0, I'm gonna love it. Awesome. All right, so I got that up right now. Uh, so, DeFi 2.0, in case you know, anybody needs to know, wants a quick recap, we've got a video on that, but what's amazing is DeFi, all you need to know is that in order to make things work without any like centralized, like one major group just running it all, you gotta spread it out. Okay, so then in order for people to be able to swap tokens and do different things, people have to voluntarily give up their tokens to make things work. And as in return, they get a little bit of rewards, right? So this is where it's like very like, wow, that's really cool. So now the next step is happening here. And this is where we love DeFi 2.0, focusing on the Daniele projects, where they can have, you give up your funds, but now is the ability to do a lot more with it, especially going to different blockchains. And just something as simple as that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a big deal because it gives an infinite amount of possibilities that can be done with it. So primarily focusing is like LP tokens, where we just say you temporarily give up your funds and you get some rewards. Normally, you're stuck. Uh, dead end. But what they're doing now with Abracadabra Money is the ability that you can now um, deposit that and take out a loan. And with that other aspect angle brings out even more possibilities because you can go to different blockchains, you can uh, get even like leverage up, do even more, uh, etc. So MIM is the stable coin, it's like the one dollar coin, can send it to all these different blockchains over here. Uh, and we were thinking like, you know, there's Avalanche and Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. Well, guess what? There's more stuff that's happening now on the Luna side. Luna's like number 11 in market cap right now. So it's a big deal. Uh, and then you probably heard about like Popsicle Finance, which like optimizes yield and, and all that. But that's for another topic. But DeFi, let's hear, let's hear what you got for us. I'll pull up that news article for us right now. So as I said, I wanted to uh, bring this article that I think it's amazing. It's about Terra and Abracadabra teams to, up to challenge the centralized stable coins. There has been a lot of, you know, issues, a lot of uh, situations in which, uh, you know, all the regulators uh, have been targeting USDC, USDT. And we have here Terra and Abracadabra that are bringing UST and Magic Internet money as an alternative, which I think it has a huge potential uh, to, to actually take over. But again, this is not financial advice. We are is giving our point of view and our opinion. And as you can see here on his tweet, uh, Daniele says the future of decentralized finance is the la collaboration between the number one algo stablecoin, UST, that lives in the uh, Luna and Terra ecosystem, and the number one CDP stablecoin, uh, stable MIM. Uh, so really, really interesting what uh, the project is trying to bring. Basically, what this is going to allow you and it's going to allow the users to do is to borrow MIM against their Luna token. So this is amazing. Why? Luna is, as you said, probably the 11th or the 12th uh, coin right now, altcoin right now, uh, in terms of market cap. And a lot of people want to hold it in the long term. So this would be a great opportunity for Luna holders to keep their Luna assets in the long term, invest them in a in a pool or stake them, and then borrow MIM against it. And with those stable coins, then you can do any type of DeFi strategy. And another thing that I wanted to highlight from this article is uh, the fact that 
apparently the deal is closer and closer than what we expected, right? So it says here, uh, Daniele uh, sent a tweet to sign this partnership in stone. Me and Stablephone did an OTC swap spot between Price, uh, Luna and Spell. So this means that uh, we don't yet know, but the defiant was told by sources close to the deal that this is in the mid to high seven figures. And this basically shows the fact that both Daniel and uh, Juan, right, the guy from uh, Terra, are really, really, really convinced about this partnership. And this is something that they want to throw uh, out to the DeFi 2.0 uh, community so that they can start uh, interacting both with Luna and Spell. And I just want to close this part uh, highlighting this tweet uh, from Zuzu from Three Arrows Capital, one of the biggest players, uh, that we hypothesized in Q3 2020 about the existence of multi EVM DeFi builders and their eventual ascendancy. And this goes to your point, Prof, where you talk about the importance of collaboration between the different chains. Last year, there was people saying, is it going to be Ethereum? Is it going to be Matic? Is it going to be Phantom? I don't think that's the conversation anymore, right? I think mm. it's about how all of those chains are going to be part of that you know, future ecosystem and how you're going to have projects like the one that Daniele is building to connect all these chains and to really take advantage of all the possibilities that each of the chains bring to, to the users. I completely agree. Yeah, the, the fact that you can use MIM and just go on different blockchains. Like, I don't, to be honest, I don't know that much. I'll pop up my video here. But to be honest, I don't know necessarily that much about Luna. I don't even know about the stablecoin, the UST. You know, you provided the, the link, and I'll have to just quickly give it a read because I know that this is a lot of hype. And, but overall, just the idea that there's a system that allows you to go to different blockchains or that's operating on multiple blockchains and gives the opportunity to, let's say, borrow against it, to leverage against it, to go and send a stablecoin across different uh, chains. And now that there's a lot of movement happening on just a top, top rated, uh, you know, chain right here, such as Luna, which is what, or Terra, number 12 already in the list. I mean, that's huge. Maybe. I mean, we're, we're talking about like fans and we're talking about AVAX, which they're all great. But the fact that it's like hitting another major place where there is probably need for liquidity and, and all this stuff, just it's the adoption effect and the more bridging and the more connecting is just it's just huge. So the fact that just what I took out of that is, hey, there it's getting closer to actually being on the Luna side. That's really positive. It, it's incredible because, yeah, you pointed a very interesting uh, element that it's about the liquidity, the potential to actually uh, move liquidity between chains, which is amazing. And then Daniele was also talking about the possibility of uh, developing a uh, a farm in which you could stake MIM together with UST, so the two stable coins for each from each of the projects, so MIM from Abracadabra and UST from Luna, mm -hmm. that, uh, di that is different to USDC and USDT, which could be uh, more centralized uh, stable coins. And Daniele was talking about the opportunity for, for us uh, yield farmers to actually farm uh, a very, very interesting APRs and APYs by using MIM and UST. So I think the, the opportunities uh, once this materializes are going to be are going to be huge. So I think it's definitely a, an article that is worth highlighting. Dang. Okay, well, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, again, this was just going to be a quick video here to get that information out because it was time sensitive and just very excited. So thanks for coming on and informing everybody about that. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Cheers.